Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lovely new worktop uh, from uh, Rejoy Colchester. Beautiful piece of laminate wood. Very, very nice. Um, unfortunately, they, uh, we asked them if they could recommend a building kitchen fitter, somebody who could fit the kitchen for us, and they recommended Total Property Services. Uh, not to be, there's lots of uh, companies called Total Property Services. Uh, this is a gentleman called Bill Campbell of Brightling C. As you can see, there's a mobile number and all the rest of it. Um, and I'd like to show you the uh, quality of some of his work. Uh, I'll start off, unfortunately, I can't show you everything because he failed to turn up uh, on Monday morning, two weeks ago, to uh, finish the job. Um, as you can see, I've had to get other kitchen fitters in to finish the job. So that's the finished article. Prior to that, um, these weren't fitted correctly at all. I'll uh, take you into this cupboard. Um, this cupboard wasn't, did not have any brackets on uh, the top at all. Uh, the only thing holding it up was, you can see with the holes there, he put a piece of wood across the top of the cupboards and then drilled, uh, so screwed in drills, uh, screwed in into there. And that was the only thing holding up the wall, holding up these cupboards on the wall. There's evidence there, was drilled. You couldn't even get that right, you know, they drilled twice. Um, and there's even a, a hole in the top of this cupboard where he's drilled. You see it up there. Um, however, when uh, the kitchen fitters took the cupboard off to examine it to see what they could do, um, they realised that the screws he put in were insufficient. They were too short, they were just drilled straight into the plaster work. Um, and there were no raw plugs on the drill, on the screws at all. These cupboards were just falling off, just waiting to fall off. Um, if we put any plates in there or whatever, they would just come crashing down. This one is exactly the same. There's two separate cupboards there. There's a corner unit and a uh, single unit next to each other. The single unit, because apparently there was electrics in the way, he only fitted one um, bracket on the wall. The kitchen fitters were here now, done it properly. They managed to fit the, the brackets, no problem. Uh, but there's only two brackets on the holding this whole unit up. Awful. The work surface itself, that was supplied by Rejoy. Um, he had to take away and do it twice, which is not very good. And he blamed them uh, the first time. As you can see, it's still a bit rubbish there, isn't it? Um, it's not a very good uh, joint at all. Uh, the gap along here was horrendous. Um, I wish I'd taped this before. Um, you can fit your, you can fit a full finger down there. The boys have done the best they can. I can just about squeeze a finger in there now. But you could literally, there was a huge gap there. Uh, maybe six, seven, eight millimetres. Um, his uh, reasoning was that the wall wasn't straight. My builder was quite amused when I told him that because this is a brand new build. Nothing wrong with that wall at all. Um, I can get a straight edge along it if you want. Um, the hacked out wall here is that uh, where my kitchen fitters have uh, tried to push this unit back to straighten it up because they couldn't uh, do it any other way. So there was a huge gap this end as well. Um, so they pushed the whole unit back and then twisted it a bit so it fits. Um, there's still a, the, 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 the work surface uh, does not fit with the cupboards as it should. They've done the best they can. As you can see from the... Uh, the sink, I can show you underneath here, he hasn't put any fittings in the sink, he just siliconed it in. Just, just a bead of silicone, that'll do, can't be bothered to do it properly. Uh, there was a leak underneath the sink where water was coming out, where it's, apparently it was, it was free. These cupboards here, he hasn't bothered to put the backs in, he's just left the backs out. So there's a cable running down there, there's a cable from a lamp I've got, but you can see, just no back in there at all. So anything down here falls down on the back of the oven. That's a health and safety issue, I think. There's the, the drill holes that he's just made holes in the wall, trying to fit things, obviously fitting them wrongly. Uh, again, <clears throat> anything in here disappears underneath the cupboard and you can't get at it. Really shoddy workmanship. Really shoddy. Here we have a sliding door. Um, which is supposed to be one of the features of the kitchen. Um, I'm not frightened to use it properly because it falls off, to be honest with you. Uh, as you can see from the bottom of the door. 
put it closed, it hits the wall. Um, obviously, as you can see, the door is broken backwards there because he's put the, uh, the runners in the wrong place. And there we go, there, damage there as well. Damage that. Uh, and if I close the door, um, and you can see that, a little bit of a scratch. Brand new door, and he's managed to scratch it straight away. And the reason it hits the wall, well, it was in the wrong place, but as you can see, the stop, it's just not secure at all. It's just it's shoddy. It's shoddy. If we come round and uh, look at this as well, again, I will. They came about my my the kitchen fitter that I'm now employing. I don't know if you can see that properly. I suppose hold the door up. It's not screwed in at all. Um, yeah, doesn't bother with anything. The gaps are atrocious. Uh, these end panels are supposed to be fitting on the floor. As you see, they just they just not fit it at all. Um, yeah, this end panel here. Should go right the way along the back. Uh, it doesn't because he's put the cupboard in wrong. So his dust is just a, a little further down there. Yeah, basically, um, don't employ him. Or if you do, get somebody to check he's done his work properly. Um, he really doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, lastly, but not least, <coughs> he did take his time. By the way, these are pull-out cupboards that he didn't know how to fit. So he spent quite a bit of time fitting the doors to the cupboard. No need to, for them to go on there. He just fitted them on anyway, although they pull up riders. Uh, as you can see, these aren't fitted properly either. either. Um, he also fitted a batten along the bottom here. See the holes there? So it would be the same as the, the batten up there until it was pointed out to him that actually the sliding door go, they're supposed to put in the sliding door there and it wouldn't fit. So you spend time and effort doing that, which I was paying for. Uh, lastly, uh, in this little corner covered in the corner, is a carousel unit. As you can see, there's his fitting there. There's the holes he drilled the first time and then the second time. I actually told us how he'd fi I'd fix that. So we checked. And lo and behold, the top one went. And when we spun the bottom one, it hit the hinge. He told us that these hinges were the wrong hinges, that doors should open wide, and they wouldn't work. Um, so I actually had a go myself. And guess what? Yeah, I'd say that spins, Bill. Yeah, doesn't... Oh, look how beautiful that is. Doesn't hit anything and stops. So, uh, just to recap. Recommended by Rejoy... Uh, laminate worktops of Colchester. Um, I've been told on the quiet that maybe they uh, subcontract him. Let's hope they don't keep on using him because it's bringing their name down. But it's Total Property Services of Brighton see and it's uh, Bill Campbell. So uh, don't have him here. Four weeks later, still not finished. Thank you, Bill. Merry Christmas to you too.